Good morning. Welcome to Collinsville High School and our commencement exercises for the graduating class of 2023. I am Dr. Daniel Toberman, principal of Collinsville High School. The music you have been enjoying has been provided by the Collinsville High School Band under the direction of Mr. Alfredo De Leon and Mr. Ryan Getter. Please join me in expressing appreciation for their performance. During the commencement exercises, we request that you do not come to the platform area in order to take pictures. Uh, furthermore, we appreciate members of the audience remaining seated during the ceremony and recessional in order to honor all graduates. Lastly, audience members should silence their cell phones. Thank you for your uh, cooperation with these matters. At this time, will the audience please stand and join me in honoring the class of 2023?
Ladies and gentlemen, your Collinsville High School faculty. I would ask that the audience remain standing for just a moment. Michelle Lake, daughter of Elaine Murphy and Mike Lake, is our Collinsville High School Executive Board Co-President. Please help me welcome Michelle to the stage to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Michelle. At this time, I would like to take the opportunity to recognize all of our, all of our veterans in the audience, as well as the 2023 graduates who will be entering the service. Would these individuals please stand? Thank you very much for your service, for your future service to our country. So would everybody else find a seat if you would? We'll go ahead and get started. Well, good morning, Hawks. How are you guys doing? You excited? You should be. All this is for you. <laughs> so sit back, relax, and try to enjoy it. It is my pleasure to introduce Lucas Geisen, son of Adam and Tony Geisen. He is the 2023 Student Council President. Lucas has the honor of officially welcoming you and, uh, excuse me, to the class of 2023 commencement exercises. Good morning, and welcome to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2023. It is crazy to believe that we are actually here. I have grown up in this campus and in this gym, and I have thought about this day many times, but it's crazy to think that we are here today. Everyone here today gets to watch the end of an era while also at the beginning of another. For the class of 2023, this is the first fully normal year we've had in our high school careers. I thought we would have had that for all four years of high school, but I thought wrong, just like many others. This class has faced so many challenges throughout high school, and we should be proud that we are here today and all of our hard work is paying off. COVID has definitely changed all of our lives in different ways. We were overwhelmed many times throughout our time in high school with either school, remote learning, hybrid learning, jobs, home life, or even just day-to-day -day events. But no matter what was happening in our lives, we kept going on and should be proud that we are sitting in these chairs today. I would first like to thank the administration and school board for being here today. We started high school the same year Dr. Skirch became our superintendent. And I would like to thank you for always putting the best interests of students first. I would like to thank the parents, guardians, friends, and family members for being here today to watch the amazing achievements of the graduates. We could not have done it without the support of all of you, and we are so glad you all get to be here. Some of the most important people who got us to this point in our lives are our teachers. Come up, coming from a family of teachers, I, have def I definitely have a deeper appreciation for all they do for us. Our teachers have pushed us to do our best, and we have fought to keep us going. Teachers like Mr. Gottschalk and Mr. Conway at DIS, just to name a few, are willing to take extra time out of their day to help us with any work that we need, and are always willing to put in the work to help, to help and teach us when, we, when they know we are putting in the work. We cannot just sit around and wait for the teachers to do all of our work when we do not, 
when we do not do anything to help ourselves. When we are trying our best and working to make ourselves better, then our teachers will be there to help too. Teachers like Mr. Gordon can, can always be there to push us to do more. He pushed me in, to be in a leadership role that was definitely outside my comfort zone, and I'm so glad he did. Also the type of kid that asks a lot of questions, a lot, that, that's just kind of how I, who I am. Any teacher who has had me in class knows that that's true. I definitely know that I can be annoying to some teachers, but they are always there to help and answer my questions, especially teachers like Mr. Lildrigan, who encourage us to ask questions. I would like to thank Ms. Olson for all that she has done for me and so many other students here at THS. She has helped us with scheduling, college decisions, applications, scholarships, and so much more. Ms. Olson always, or always cares about every kid in the school and will always be there to talk no matter what is going on. There is no way I could adequately thank you enough, Ms. Olson. I will miss having you there to talk about whatever is going on, and there is definitely some points in my high school career that I do not know what I would have done if I hadn't gotten the help and support from my teachers. Thank you, teachers, for all that you do for us. After graduation, some of us are going to college, the military, trade schools, the workforce, or even just taking a year off. Even if you do not know what is going on or what's going to happen after this, you have come this far and made through some of the most confusing years we've ever known. So nothing can stop you now. Though it feels like this is the end of something, this is really just the beginning for all of us. There is so much more to come. It may not come all at once, but just keep working and you'll reach your goals one way or another. Once again, I would like to welcome everyone as we close this chapter of our lives and move on to another. Congratulations to the class of 2023 and happy graduation. Thank you. Thank you, Lucas. At this time, I would like to introduce our distinguished platform guests, beginning with Dr. Brad Skirdich, Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Brad Heyer, Assistant Superintendent and Director of Student Services, Mrs. LaToya Barry Coleman, Director of Curriculum and Instruction, Mr. Kevin Robinson, Director of Human Resources, Mrs. Allie Underwood, Director of Special Education. Um, I lost my place there. <laughs> uh, Mr. Derek Turner, Director of Technology. Dr. Sarah Stubbenfeldt, uh, Alumni Achievement Award winner. Mr. Tim Hazemir, Board Member. Mr. Gary Piccola, President of the Board of Education. Mrs. Jury Braunbauer, School Board Member. Dr. Dennis Kraft, Treasurer of the Board of Education. Ms. Michelle Stutz, School Board Member. Mrs. Jane Sulke, Secretary of the Board of Education. Mrs. Tara Glenn, Special Education Supervisor. Ms. Charlotte Fisher, Assistant Principal. Mr. Terrell Key, Assistant Principal. Mr. Robert Wright, Assistant Principal. And Mr. Mark Shusky, Social Studies Teacher. Please uh, join me in welcoming our distinguished guests. <laughs> The sponsors for the class of 2023 are Ms. Tony Geisen and Ms. Kelly Ponce. I now have the honor of introducing the students ranking in the upper 10% of the CHS class of 2023. Please hold your applause until all students have been introduced. Students, when I read your name, please stand and remain standing. Students receiving summa cum laude recognition include the following, Adeline Johnson, Elizabeth Martin, Cole Patrick, <laughs> Alicia Markovich, Jacob Gregory, Matthew Falby, Lucas Geisen, Madeline Eversman, Olivia Frawley, Malia Gilliland, Amber Vargas, Zachary Blaha, Peyton Beals, Georgia Cox, Ladies and gentlemen, the summa cum laude students of Collinsville High School. You may be seated. The same for the next group. Students receiving magna cum laude recognition include the following. Please stand and remain standing. Brandon Campbell. Samuel Stuckey. Aubrey Kohler. Adam Deber. Leighton Morris. Brandon Nygaard. Alicia Swartz, Jonathan Sewell, Gavin Chrisman, Juliana Satello, Michaela Despain, Jordan Gary, Abigail Getter. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the magnum cum laude students of Townsville High School. You may be seated. Students receiving cum laude recognition include the following. Please stand and remain standing. Kira Wintrick, Isabella Brand, Andrew Tinez, Eliza Martinez Canseco, Andrew Dedman, Jared Lundak, Jenna Scheller, Grace Nagel, Joseph Rauch, Veronica Clemens, Eli Garkey, Isabella Cotton, Mason Foley, Jacob Wright, Paige Birma, Megan Jeremias, Cameron Toon. Ladies and gentlemen, the cum laude students of Collinsville High School. You may be seated. It is my privilege to now introduce Adeline Johnson, daughter of Adrienne and Andy Johnson. Adeline earned the honor of presenting the class address based on her tremendous academic performance at Collinsville High School. Hello class of 2023 and welcome friends and family. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Addie Johnson and I am honored to be this year's valedictorian at Collinsville High School. First, I would like to acknowledge my mom, dad, sisters, close friends, classmates, and wonderful staff at CHS for helping me get here. I never could have done it without all of your love and support. I don't think any one of us would be in here without all of our friends and family, so let's give them all a good round of applause. I would also like to give a huge shout out to Quizlet, Mathway, and Cliff Notes because God knows where I would be without them. <laughs> Class of 2023, we are a group of resilient, talented, diverse, and ambitious young adults. We may not be too intelligent because somehow I ended up here, but anyway, the rest is great. Just kidding, we are also very bright. I think hard work mixed with a little bit of good luck is how I got here. As a kid, I was never the fastest, smartest, or strongest, but as I grew, I realized that it didn't matter as long as I outworked everyone else. That being said, I wanted, to, I wanted you all to take something from this address rather than put you to sleep, so here we go. Was it not just 2009 when we walked into our elementary schools, whether that be Maryville, Renfro, Caseyville, or the many others? We were little puny kids with no idea what we were doing, but it's where the growing up began where we met our best friends and familiar faces for the very first time, where we waited anxiously for recess and traded snacks from our lunch boxes. As kindergarten trick quickly turned into fourth grade, we wanted to be in middle school. We wanted to grow up. The era of fidget spinners, Fortnite, the dog Snapchat filter, and TP. I know many of us remember TP. Many of our first memories, good or most likely bad, were made there. As the pattern continued, we wanted to be in high school where there were smoking hot seniors, Friday night lights, and homecoming dances. We wanted to grow up. This was the era of TikTok, pointless relationships, a global, a global pandemic which cut our experience short a few years, and of course, the horrendous road rage all of us have dealt with in the student parking lot. I will not miss that. Oh, and we can't forget the daily win the day K Hawks over the intercom every single morning. Thank you, Dr. Toberman, for those wise words. We wanted to never hear that again and graduate. <laughs> but now we're here, May 13th, 2023, our last day with those familiar faces we met 13 years ago. Let that sink in for just a second. We always wanted to grow up and move on to the next level. Throughout all of it, we didn't realize how fast we were actually growing. 2009 feels like ages ago, but at the same time feels like it was just yesterday. Years of waiting for this very moment, and now it all comes to an end. I think we should stop wanting to grow up. Although it is a beautiful thing, from here it gets kind of boring. Bills to pay, laundry to do, and dinner to cook. I know all of the parents out there agree with this one. Good thing high school has taught me that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, and what the Pythagorean theorem is, but I don't even know how to do my laundry correctly, and I have absolutely no idea how to pay a bill. That's okay. <laughs> Think about the worries and responsibilities you had as a kindergartner, zero of them. Now think about all the worries you already may have and the many more to come in the future. For real, stop wanting to grow up. 
Never stop wandering through creeks in the summer, jacking around with your friends, or laughing so hard you cry. Growing up may be more of a mindset, so stay young, class of 2023. Before we know it, we will be sitting in our parents' spots, then in nursing homes with someone wiping our butts, which none of us should look forward to. <laughs> Getting older thus far has been great, and there is so much more room to grow, but especially enjoy these young years and cherish the memories we make forever. I do want to point out that there is a difference between growing up and growing. Never stop growing either. Never stop learning or being afraid to make mistakes. After all, growing comes best from failure. I think many of our sports teams will understand that one. <laughs> Class of 2023, never be afraid to grow up or to grow, but do be afraid of standing still. Reading seemed daunting in first grade and maybe writing too, but now we all encompass libraries of, of information and experience in which we will continue to write our own stories. After we walk out of here and go down divergent paths, everything changes. New normals become apparent and new faces become familiar. Now what is daunting is finding yourself, which takes lots of growing and most likely did not happen in high school, so take things slow. After all, 2009 quickly became 2023 and 2023 will quickly become 2070. We grew up, yeah, but we will never stop building ourselves into more knowledgeable teenagers than adults than ancient old people wishing we were teenagers again. Like I mentioned earlier, stay youthful and have fun with your life. And lastly, like Walt Disney once said, growing old is mandatory, growing up is optional. Thank you. Thank you, Adeline. The next program item today is our Alumni Achievement Award winner. Each year we recognize an alumnus from Collinsville High School who has distinguished themselves after leaving Collinsville High School. Mr. Gary Picola, president of the School Board of Education for the Collinsville Unit School District Number 10, will present this award today. Please help me in welcoming Mr. Picola to the podium. Thank you, Dr. Tobern. Today I have the honor of representing the Board of Education, and we are very happy to be a part of this ceremony. Graduation is definitely one of the highlights of the year for us. At this time, it is my privilege and pleasure to present the Alumni Achievement Award to Dr. Sarah Staubenfeld. Dr. Staubenfeld graduated from Collinsville High School in 1998. She was a very active Cahawk, being involved with the National Honor Society, Student Council, Mu Alpha Theta, Science Club, Spanish Club, Monogram Club, Junior Engineering Club, and the Student Senate. She was also on the basketball, swimming, and track teams. She earned her Bachelor of Science degree in Biomedical Engineering from St. Louis University, and then attended Georgia Institute of Technology where she earned her PhD in Bioengineering. Dr. Staubenfeld is currently an Associate Professor and Associate Director of the School of Biological and Health Systems Engineering at Arizona State University. She joined ASU in 2011 to build a biomedical research program that spans from developing nanoparticle delivery strategies for traumatic brain injury to developing no novel biomarkers for traumatic brain injuries to neural regenerative medicine. Dr. Staubenfeld's work has led to her receiving a number of prestigious awards, including the Health Director's New Innovator Award, the National Science Foundation Career Award, and the Arizona Biomedical Research Center Early Stage Investigator Award. In 2022, Dr. Staubenfeld was recognized for her achievements by being elected to the College of Fellows for the American Institute for Medical and Biological Engineering. This organization represents the top 2% of medical and biological engineers. They include the most accomplished medical and biological engineers in academia, industry, education, clinical practice, and government. Dr. Staubenfeld advocates for addressing inequalities and disparities in science, technology, engineering, and math fields. At ASU, she works with multiple diversity, equity, and inclusion groups and participates nationally 
and biomedical engineering community diversity groups. Dr. Staubenfeld currently resides with her family in Scottsdale, Arizona, and they traveled with her back to Collinsville to receive this award. We welcome her and her family back to CHS today. It is an honor for Collinsville High School to announce Dr. Sarah Staubenfeld as this year's Alumni Achievement Award recipient. shorter here. All right, so welcome here. You have made it today. I want to thank the CHS Alumni Association for this recognition and award. I'm truly honored and quite honestly very humbled to be speaking to you today. The last time I stood here in this gymnasium was probably from my own graduation 25 years ago. I was sitting here with my friends and peers and some may actually be here today as parents, aunts, uncles, or other relatives and friends. It's an incredible privilege to share this stage with you, the 2023 graduates of today. I'll keep my remarks brief, since this is your day. The, the day is for you, graduates. But I wanted to share a couple of my lessons that helped me navigate my own path to success. First and foremost, curiosity. That has been critical in my journey. It's the most important quality that I actually look for when I'm recruiting students and trainees to work with me and pursue research. I ask, are you interested in learning more? Are you comfortable with not knowing all the answers, but asking the right questions to advance your knowledge? Pursuing knowledge and being curious about life, cultures, and the world's wonders can open endless possibilities. Secondly, People are, are essential to your success. I would not be here today without the support and mentorship from my family, friends, teachers here from CHS, professors and mentors. The network you build will take you far on your path, but the key is support. I have shared my, I, I have my share of naysayers who doubted me, who said that I was here just because I was a woman but I leaned into my support network and continued to excel and thrive. I now try to be that support system for my own trainees, family, knowing that kindness and generosity are the thread that connects us all. Thirdly, resilience is crucial. You are the last class to know what CHS was like before the global pandemic. And you worked hard, you worked through some extremely hard, most challenging years of your life to get here today. That resilience and adaptation can be used to your advantage as you navigate the next phases in life. Facing hard challenges at work, in the military, at college, or at home, no problem. Use that, that experience to get through this hard um, time in your life as a tool for success. Lastly, reflection is key. Ask yourself, who do I want to be? Am I living authentically and remaining true to my values? And are the activities I'm doing today, are those going to move me towards the person I truly want to be? Prioritizing those actions is vital. I still ask these questions myself every few months or so. And the answers can evolve and will evolve and will change with different seasons in your life. In closing, stay curious, be authentic, build relationships, be kind to others and yourself, most importantly, lean into resiliency, don't forget to reflect on your accomplishments and so-called failures. And best wishes on the next adventures in your life. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations to Dr. Staubenfeld on being selected for the Alumni Achievement Award. Uh, we have some faculty and staff who will be retiring at the conclusion of the 22 23 school year. Their contributions to the educational environment at CHS are deeply appreciated. I know these individuals have positively, positively impacted many students throughout their respective careers at CHS. We have a few of those individuals in attendance today. We have Ms. Anita Johnson. Mr. Mike Liljegren. Mr. 
Mr. Alan Welch. Mrs. Mary Lou Wiegand. Please give these event, uh, individuals a round of applause in appreciation of their service to Collinsville High School. Dr. Skirtich and the Board of Education is my honor and privilege to present you the class of 2023. They have completed the course of study prescribed by the state of Illinois, the Collinsville Unit School District Number 10 Board of Education, and the faculty of Collinsville High School. At this time, it is an honor for me to introduce the Collinsville School District's educational leader, Dr. Brad Skirtich. Good morning. Family, friends, and Cayhawks, thank you for attending or watching online as we honor the Collinsville High School class of 2023. On, on behalf of the entire school district, we are excited to recognize this year's senior class. Educating our students takes a team effort between home and our schools. I'd like to thank our families, district employees, each of our communities, and the Board of Education. Collectively, your efforts have played a key role in the success of our graduates. Seniors, you have excelled throughout your high school careers. Your academic accomplishments, competitive fire, and commitment to service have brought great pride to our entire district. Your years at CHS have been full of academic and social growth, which have led to many successes in and out of the classroom, and your accomplishments shine bright among the long list of CHS graduates. I would be remiss if I did not mention the resilience the class of 2023 has shown the past four years and complement your ability to adapt in the face of adversity. In the days, months, and years ahead, each of you will experience unexpected twists and turns, both personally and professionally. When they occur, adapt, learn new skills, and display patience to make the best of difficult situations. Life is not easy but the skills you have acquired both socially and academically throughout elementary, middle, and high school have prepared you for the next chapter in your lives and beyond. Always keep in mind, life is a journey. You cannot control each outcome or occurrence, but you can control your effort, the energy, and the time you invest to reach your goals and the impact on yourself, your family, and your peers. I think the best way to sum up the next few years and as you travel throughout life is always work hard and don't forget to have fun along the way. Today, graduation is a significant accomplishment and we're all proud of the work you put forth to be sitting here. However, each of you has a lot more to achieve in the years to come. Years from now, your list of accomplishments will be vast and graduation will just be one of many positive events in your life. Collectively, your successes will be a list of impressive milestones you've achieved because of your hard work, your individual passion for success, and your efforts to make a difference. We are excited about what the future holds for the Council High School class of 2023. We look forward to seeing your many accomplishments now and in the years to come. Congratulations, enjoy today and the weeks ahead, and never forget, once a Cayhawk, always a Cayhawk. Thank you, Dr. Skirtich. This is the time in the ceremony where I have the privilege of announcing how much money this class earned in scholarships. But before I do, Addie, you're gonna have to hear it one more time. <laughs> so I have uh, this saying that I use that she alluded to, it's win the day. So that was the last time. Uh, I use it to inspire students, clearly it's working, uh, <laughs> to look at things in small, attainable pieces. Uh, the idea is to get a mindset that what, I'm, what am I going to do to win today and how will that position me to win down the road. We had some Navy SEALs visit the campus this week and uh, one student asked one of them how many push-ups he could do. And uh, he was very modest, but he said that during training they do about a thousand push-ups per day. Uh, the student was impressed, as was I. I think everybody was. But the SEAL was, uh, as I said, very modest. He asked her how she would eat an elephant. Think about that for a second. It took, she didn't realize it at first, but uh, the answer of course is one bite at a time, right? Uh, he said first you do one push up, then two, and eventually you will be able to do a thousand of them if you stay with it. And that is how you all got here today and graduated from high school. You couldn't earn all your credits in one semester or one year. 
uh, you had to stay with it. Every day you took a step closer to today. Whatever challenge is next for you, you won't accomplish it in one day. But if you focus on winning in some way every day, you will get there. And that is how this class was able to earn $5.1 million in scholarship money. <laughs> At this time, it's my pleasure to invite Mr. Gary Piccola once again, President of the School Board of Education, to address the graduates on behalf of the Board of Education for Unit 10. Today may be a highlight for the board. This is the culmination of 13 years of hard work on your part. Granted, there were a couple years that were harder than others, but you made it. Graduation is a major milestone in each of your lives, and you should all be very proud of yourselves. I would imagine you have been receiving guidance and advice through the years from your parents, your teachers, from family, and friends. I am sure their hope is that this advice will help prepare you to meet the challenges life has coming your way, and also help you be ready to take advantages of the opportunities life has to offer. If there is just one thing I could add, I would like you to remember that each and every one of you are an important part of our society. No matter which career path you follow, it will take all of you using your individual talents and abilities to keep our communities and our country strong. No matter what job you hold, do it with pride, do it to the best of your ability, and remember that each of you can make a difference. As you go through life, try to learn something from everyone you were with. Just as you can learn from everyone, remember that you have much to offer to others. You can learn from the example of others, but more importantly, you can be a positive example for others to follow. On behalf of the Board of Education, we hope that Unit 10 has given you a good foundation upon which to build the rest of your lives. We are proud of you and everything that you have accomplished. We would like to congratulate you and your parents or guardians on a job well done and wish you all the best as you leave Collinsville High School. Thank you. Mr. Pacola, thank you for your time and dedication on behalf of our students. At this time, members of the School Board of Education will present diplomas to members of the class of 2023. Please help me welcome Mr. Mark Shusky to the stage to introduce our graduates. Good morning. It is an honor to be able to read the names of today's graduates and our class of 2023 graduates, starting with our Ms. Michelle Lake, can rise, come to the stage, and I will announce each graduate as they come up the stage, and they'll be handed their diplomas as they walk across the stage. And we begin this morning with Michelle Josephine Lake. <laughs> Lucas John Geisen. <laughs> Adeline Nicole Johnson. Elizabeth Ann Martin. Brian Acosta. Alejandra Alcala. Colby Scott Anderson. Ilir Liri Alimi. Gavin Blake Aldridge.
Enrique Jesus Andrade. Ivan Pedroza Andrade. Cheyenne Rene Antrobus. Jose Leonardo Arteaga. Braden Connor Miller Anson. Michaela A. Atwood. Carlos Manuel Avalos Sanchez. Jesus Armando Avila. Damaris Annette Avila. Abelardo Basilio Isidro. Kelby D. Barron. Essie Beckley. Angel Ernesto Badola. Marissa Evelyn Badola. Peyton Michael Cole Beals. David Andrew Bennett. Lothario Savelle Bickham. Paige Olivia Birma. Zachary A. Blaha. Bryson L. Bodie. Kelsey Lynn Bonenseal. Laney Rene Bolandis. Alaric David Boley. Aiden P. Boyer. Isabella F. Brand. Amber Brock. Amia Shania Brooks. Dylan Leon Brown. Nathaniel Joseph Brown. Caleb Michael Bruce. Cole Christopher Buckman. David Cabrera Lopez. Nathan Leslie Kag. Brandon James Campbell. Alder Campos Rojas. Argelis Jaswani Campos. Jason Campos. John Lewis Carl.
Renaya Carter. Savannah Castro. Michael Cates. Monica Casadas. Andrew Nathan Chai. Frederick Henry Kristen. Gavin Taylor Chrisman. Kyler Robin Clayton. Reagan Lynn Clemens. Veronica Clemens. Cameron Emerson Cook. Connor Michael Corradini. Dominique Janelli Cortez. Isabella Nicole Cotton. Alexander J. Cox. Georgia Claire Cox. McKenna Ray Crockett. Nadia Rosalise Crockett. James Zachary Crowder. Mandre J. Kroon. Lily S. Cuddyback. Joshua Cunningham. Ariana Maria Dabney. Austin Joseph Dalton. Jacob M. Damiano. Kimberly Elizabeth Davis. Andrew Douglas Dedman. Andrea Murray Dedman. Demarcus Allen Dubbo. Addison Renee Delisle. Michaela De Spain. Kimberly Alia Diaz. Tremonte Damar Dickerson. Adam Richard Dickinson. Sophia Amor Ditter. Benjamin Dobbs. Adam Christopher Deber. Timothy William Dolan. Melissa Ann Downing. Reagan Emily Dunleavy. Yeah. 
Tanner Jacob Durham. Gens Jaladini. Tyrone Richard Ely. Destiny R. Ellison. Hosea Epps. Madeline Grace Eversman. Diana Michelle Fabian. Matthew Joseph Falby. Jenna A. Feldman. Kevin Figueroa. Jonathan Forbes Filgus. Mason E. Foley. Taylor Roche Fute. Stephen Fortner. Olivia Ann Frawley. Cynthia Grace Freeman. Liliana Lee Feener. Alyssa Garcia. Maite Garcia Bautista. Ashley K. Guzman. Natalie Garcia Rivas. Eli C. Garkey. Jordan Alexis Gary. Jackson Peter Geisen. Malia K. Gilliland. Aiden. Gimple. <laughs> Abigail Getter. <laughs> Hunter Goff. <laughs> Alma Denise Gomez. Nidia Rosario Gomez Hernandez. Hugo Gonzalez. Ignacio Tomas Gonzalez. Zachary James Gonski. Aubrey Brehan Green. Kamari Marquise Green. Jacob Patrick Gregory. K. 
Charisma, Raven Gregory. Christian Raven Gregory. Connor Patrick Greve. Jordan Christopher Griffin Landa. Paulina Gutierrez Trejo. Sebastian Gutierrez. Leanne Michelle Haggerty. Thomas Savoy Hare. Jeremiah Alex Hale. Mikeela Nizoria Camille Hall. Justin Dean Grayman Hummond. Chiron Lee Harden. Dylan Kenneth Hare. Estrella Harrow. Alicia M. Harris. Sina Gabrielle Harris Lane. Taya Dion Arnetta Harris. Isaiah Thomas Hart. Carter Lynn Hartman. Connor Lynn Hartman. Carter Jeffrey Hasmir. Brent Evan Hari. Shelby Nicole Hawk. Caleb James Hay. Eli Richard Heddle. Savannah Lynn Marie Henderson. Timothy Michael Henderson. Emilio Hernandez. Elizabeth Hernandez Mello. Gavin Quinn Hoffman. Dylan Michael Holman. Samantha Janae Holshauser. Brad Joseph Hopke. Jasmine M. Howard. Emma Claire Ravishiski.
Luis M. Huerta. Haley Grace Huff. Dalton Russell Hersey. Arcelia Yasmin Hurtado Jadon. Taylor Miles Hustedy. Ramaya Danielle Janae Jackson. Marin Jolinski. Megan Louise Jansen. Nicholas Antonio Hario. Zamina Doris Jefferson. <laughs> Megan Faith Jeremias. <laughs> Jennifer Isabel Geronimo. <laughs> Benjamin Alexander Jones. Samuel Joseph Jones. <laughs> Janiah Anel Jones. <laughs> Leah Murray Jones. <laughs> Mason Daniel Jones. Jacob Daniel Julius. <laughs> Lily Catherine Georgina. <laughs> Destiny Michelle Kalert. <laughs> Macy Jane Keen. Sophia Margaret Kiefner. <laughs> Reese Nicole Kindle. <laughs> Ian Abraham Kingen. <laughs> Madison Star Knight. Isabel Kuntz. <laughs> Aubrey Lynn Kohler. <laughs> Zachary Ray Kovorek. <laughs> Ryan Jacob Daniel Kramer. Gray O. Lavere. <laughs> Natalie Acela Lamas Marquez. <laughs> David Larner. <laughs> Damiano Frederick Lawrence. Cody Daniel Leitz. Bishop Oscar Leffler. Julian Leva Gomez.
Jaden Tremon Lewis. Masaya Nakela Lewis. Maxwell Lewis Link. Sergio Barrios Alvarado. Leah Hopkins. Reina Perez. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we will switch sides of the stage in our second half of the alphabet. We'll do the exact same thing in mirror image, and that will take us just one moment. All right, so we are just about ready to begin. Our second half of the alphabet. All right, we are ready for the second half of our graduates today. If you could please have a seat in the audience. As we announce the rest of the graduates. Starting with Tyler Linton. <laughs> Drew C. Logsdon. <laughs> Cynthia Alexandria Lopez. George Matthew Lopez. Jared Aloysius Lundak. Daphne Magadan. Landon Ryan Malter. Emilio Alberto Marin Osorio. Alicia I. Markovic. Ian Edward Marlowe. Mason Marmon. Eliza Martinez Canseco. Isaiah Cleveland Martin. Kathleen Lorraine Martin. Giselle Martinez. Laurentino Martinez. Alexis Lee Mast. Dylan Edward Mayberry. Spencer Alec Mayhew. Peter John McChristian. Yeah. 
Brandon Lee McCuller. Jacob Anthony McDaniel. Maya Nicole McDaniel. Janicia D. McDonald. Mackenzie Lynn McElligot. Ariana Nagela McGee. Jack Wilbur McIntyre. Zaire Ruben Medina Campos. Alejandro Mendoza. Riley Murray Manier. Connor Lewis Miller. Thalia Rose Mills. Hannah Renee Mims. Aiden Daniel Jacob Miner. Claire Louise Mitchell. Sarah Ann Moog. Crystal Montalvo. Sierra J. Moore. Haley Ann Morrison. Darvin Artravion Morris. Leighton Eli Morris. Mateo Ray Montemayor. Nuri Zana Morris. Alexander Munoz. Jonathan L. Monroe. Easton Paul Myers. Grace Elizabeth Nagel. Vika Aide Nambo Mendez. Austin, Robbie, Lee, Paul, Nance. Zeta, Neil. Isamar, Neri. Brianna, Tremaine, Nicholson. Brandon Paul Nygaard. Lindsay M. O'Connor. Navea Sophie Marie Oliver. Alondra Onyate Trejo.
Joseph Renoble Origlioso. Angel Gabriel Ortega. Andres Miguel Ortiz. Giovanni Ortiz Barrera. Clarence Robert Osborne. Javier Jesus Oseguera. Carly Jeanette Owens. Novea Grace Pap. Liam Michael Pasco. Frederick Nathan Passmore. Cole Marshall Patrick. Altravion Patterson. Quentin Armante Patterson. Blake Peak. Callie Alexis Peer. Daphne Natalia Perez. Eric Miguel Perez. Jonathan Perez Lopez. Juan Carlos Perez Villegas. Viridiana Perez. Aiden Isaiah Pierce. Sean Anthony Leonard Poindexter. Phaedra Elise Powell. Jordan N. Powers. Gabrielle Adriana Kilohana Prenzel. Caden Alec Pruitt. Rodolfo De Jesus Quintero. Drya Marzea Rayford. David Ramirez Mayorga. Joseph Lloyd Rauch. Angelina Kaylee Reeves. Ramiro Reyes Hernandez. John Ramon Reynolds. Jerry Jerome Richardson. Dylan Joseph Rick. Adam 
Robert Remar. Jasmine Joanna Rivera. Derek Michael Robinson. Paige Nicole Robinson. Yarelli Rocha. Karina Amy Rodriguez. Aiden James Rogers. Draven Daniel Roth. Austin Scott Ruman. Eric Octavio Salazar. Marvin Salazar. Yovan Sanchez. Rosemary Santillan Melchor. Selena Santos Mello. Nicolo Santari. Nicholas Paul Sauer. Curtis Leroy Schaff. Jenna Catherine Scheller. Samantha May Schmetterman. Jessica Sebastian Marcos. Jonathan L. Sewell. Brant M. Seiler. Matthew Robert Shelton. Alyssa Shepherson. Aiden Mark Skipper. Benjamin Sloan. Corbin Riley Smart. Skyler Lee Michael Smiley. Alyssa April Smith. Brooke Taylor Smith. Christian C. Smith. Jackson L. Smith. Jaden Jamar Smith. Mason Alexander Snyder. Antonio Solano. Seth Michael Sorensen. Juliana Sotelo. Eden Avery Soto. 
Michelle Soto. Diamond, Denise Spencer. Kennedy Staggs. Jackson, Robert Stanger. Jeremiah, Julius Stevens. Mushe Lushell Stewart. Cameron Joseph Stockton. Keith Eugene Strong. Owen Daniel Stroud. Delaney Grace Strubinger. Caitlin Gwendolyn Michelle Stewart. Eric Lee Stuber. Samuel B. Stuckey. Maggie May Sumner. Alicia Gracie Swartz. Zachary Scott Sykes. Archer Michael Halleck. Leela Murray Talbot. Talia Taylor. Jaden Patrick Tebow. Destiny Michaela Rene Talbot. Dominic Christopher Tomachek. Andrew Russell Titus. Preston Mitchell Tillman. McKenna Christine Tyson. Sophia Totleben. <laughs> William Thomas Truskowski. Cameron Lee Toon. Bonelli Urbina Galindo. Dominic Matthew Vanderreet. Kendall Nicole Toon. Kira Elizabeth Van Dyke. Gracia Aliwara Vaquera Valdez. Amber Marilise Vargas. Yeah. Alan Velasquez. Yeah. 
Kevin Alexis Velasquez. <laughs> Vanessa Villa. <laughs> Morgan Anne Marie Velko. <laughs> Jonathan Angel Velasquez Mendoza. Jacob Adam Wallace. Aiden D. Walls. Malia Solis Walton. Tylesha Shelley Washington. Matthew Watson. Eric Robert Watt. Carson Brian Waddleworth. Drew Weeks. Luke. Lynn Weller. Jaquan K.B. West. Isaac David White. Jake Michael Wilkinson. Ijene J. Williams. La Monica Williams. Riley Brianne Willis. Ryla Torre Williams. Eric Russell Wilson. Joseph Alexander Weimer. Kira Riley Wintrick. Chase Dakota Wolke. Jacob Ron Wright. McKenna Ashley Wright. And Jeremiah Alexander Yarbo. We'll wait for everybody to sit down. We do have one more speech. So, now I know everyone's excited, but it's a special one. So I am pleased to introduce Elizabeth Martin, daughter of Brian and Jennifer Martin. She will provide closing remarks. Please welcome Elizabeth back to the stage. Congratulations to the class of 2023. I recognize how important of a day it is today and I'm so proud of all of us and what we have been able to do. I also know this is completely exhausting so I'll try to keep it brief. The class of 2023 has had a very unique four years. We've been through pep rallies, football games, and school dances, a shut down school and open back up school, one way hallways, and the week of school at the beginning of junior year when we had fire drills every day because somebody kept pulling the alarm. 
We made new friends, reflected on who we are as people, grown, matured, and gone through the last years of our childhood together. We've had a memorable ride, but the fact that we are sitting here in caps and gowns today signifies that we are quickly running out of road. And high school is in the rear view. I don't want any of you to see this as disappointing or sad. Don't look at high school ending as if you're reaching a dead end. Instead, see it like an airport runway. The pavement and asphalt ends, but the plane doesn't need it anymore because it's taken off. The road ends, but the journey just started. I do understand that the journey is daunting. Our paths are splitting now and becoming unique. We will never go through the same everyday experiences like we have been thus far. This can come with a lot of self-doubt, especially with the future being unpredictable and fast approaching. Graduates, if you would please, I would like all of you to look at your laps. Look down, okay. <laughs> Resting there, you will find the diplomas that you have earned for your achievements over the last four years. This is an honor that you earned yourself. You did the hard work, and this day is about you. When doubting yourself, understand that this achievement proves a few things. Firstly, it proves that you are in fact capable of hard work. When the going got tough, you were able to pull yourselves up by the bootstraps and get through it. Not only are you capable of hard work, but you are also capable of success. This is a huge milestone that you have made it to because you worked hard and saw it through. This diploma should also clarify any doubts you may hold about your intelligence. If you ever reach a point sometime during the rest of your life when you think, I'm not smart enough, or my brain isn't cut out for this, come back to this moment. They don't hand diplomas out to just anybody, but they deemed you fit for one because you showed academic growth and achievement. This is definitive proof that there is not just hollow space between your ears. You have a brain that works and will take you far in whatever you do. I'm proud of you, everyone in this room is proud of you, and I hope you are proud of yourselves for making it to today and can use this momentum to continue further in whatever you decide to pursue. Looking forward might be intimidating to you. Up until now, it's just been school and summer over and over, but now you have some leeway in how you spend your days. There's a quote I like by Ray Bradbury that says, people ask me to predict the future when all I want to do is prevent it. Better yet, build it. Predicting the future is much too easy anyway. You look at the people around you, the street you stand on, the visible air you breathe, and predict more of the same. To hell with more, I want better. However you decide to build your future is up to you. Don't think small for the rest of your life. Don't accept bad things because you think they cannot change. Don't predict more of the same. The future is not something that you are just finding your way into. You are the future. Your life is in your hands and you have the potential to do great things with it. I know that you will, and I'm excited to hear all about the awesome things you're up to at the 10-year reunion. Congratulations. Thank you, Elizabeth. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Collinsville High School graduating class of 2023. You can probably come back later and get it. Ms. Fisher, Mr. Key, would you please lead our faculty out? 